Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to introduce Miss Patty Page. Patty, <laughs> welcome to Detroit. Thank you. Such a thrill to have you. Just a marvelous experience for me personally, because I grew up with Patty Page as well. But for so many of our viewers, they have been anxious to have you here in the studio. That's very so nice. You're stopping I'm glad at, to be here. You're stopping in different PBS stations, aren't you, right yes, now? Yes, I am. Uh, this is about the tenth one, I think. I've lost count of them right now. <laughs> We've been in one city one day and another city another day, but we started in New Hampshire and we're here and then we go on to Washington, back then to the West Coast. So when you're at these PBS stations, what are you trying to do or what's your hope? Well, our hope is to have everyone call in and make their pledge because only on PBS could you find a show like the one I did and the shows that you are familiar with that you watch all day long in your children's shows and your news programs. Only PBS would carry those, and we need your pledges right now. You're hired, Patty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We'd love to keep you here at Detroit Public yeah. Television because I just felt those words coming from the heart. Well, it's true. I watch it. My uh, two grandchildren live with us, uh -huh. and we have it on every day for them. Oh, my and goodness. We're not worried about what they're seeing, and we love watching it together with them. So, well, that's a nice family kind of uh -huh. appreciation for public television. Well, I think television. this is the only family channel, really. Oh my air. gosh, yes. Well, we talked a little bit earlier about when you first came to television, you were very much on what they call commercial television. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you were very closely associated with one of the auto companies. I sure was for many years. Oldsmobile. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. We're going to talk about some of those great times that you had in your early TV shows. Okay. But right now, we'd encourage you to call us to pledge your support and to show Patty how much you enjoy her music brought to you by this public television station and being doubled your pledge tonight by the trustees. Call now. It's just delightful to be chatting with Patty Page right here live in Detroit Public Television Studios and you might have the opportunity to do so as well. Patty has sort of indicated that perhaps a little later on or during the course of this break she may just wander over to the phone bank and say thank you herself for you making your pledges of support. So you just never know who you're gonna be talking to when you call this public TV station. But I do say this, you will be making a generous pledge to make more programs like Patty Page possible. And Patty, there's already someone yes, who's there starting is. the ball rolling and I wanna just hand this pledge to okay. you and I want you to say thank you to this call. Well, it's a very special pledge, Diane, from the president of my fan club, Bob Bowling in Gaines, Michigan. Thank you, Bob. That was very, very sweet of you. Thank you. You know, we're going to do something else, Bob, and Patty had no idea this was going to happen tonight. Tonight, your gift is going to be doubled for public television. That's fantastic. And so your grandchildren and all of the other youngsters and everyone who watches public television is going to see twice as many programs yes. because of the challenge tonight. That's great. You know, when we were talking a little bit about your fan club. I was asking mm -hmm. a little earlier about how many members do you think there are and, and where are they? Well, they're all over the country um, and I don't know how many there are. Bob, you know more than I do. You can call us back and tell us. It'd be great. But uh, it's called the Patty Page Appreciation Society. Oh, nice. And Bob elected to do it uh, himself with no pushing from me or anyone of <laughs> all. That's nice. Yes, it was. And he has been a fan for many, many years. And when you have a fan club group like this, do they always try to follow you and come to your concerts? Yes, they do. And when I'm in their area, naturally they're there. But then when I'm working in Reno and, you know, you never can tell, Vegas, Laughlin, I look out in the audience and there are two or three there. That oh, that's great. I've come a long way. Well, you know, that familiar face is just like your familiar voice, Patty, because there's not a soul in this studio who cannot recall some memory or some moment in their life that involved you in one of your songs. Well, that's nice. That's but nice. But you know what we want to do? We want our audience to share those moments with us. So when you call in your pledge, share with Patty what's favorite about the songs that she sings and those special moments with Patty as well. Yes. <laughs> we have fans calling in from all over, as a matter of fact. Sure do. We just heard from Eva, who worked with you, Patty, at the Metropole Supper Club in Isn't Windsor. That something? And I worked in Windsor many, many times and many years ago, as she sang. 
25 years ago is when she was there. And she also That's comments wild. that you look as beautiful today oh. <laughs> as you did 25 years she ago. She probably doesn't have her glasses on, does <laughs> she? She does too, Patty. <laughs> Won't you keep those calls, comments, and questions coming, and we'll be back with Patty. But right now, let's return to the special. Friends, we are in the studio with Patty Page, and we're asking for your support around this tremendous PBS special featuring highlights from the career of Patty Page, which continues to this day. Patty, you said that you were just yesterday performing in concert. Where was that? Well, yesterday I was in, where was I? Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> the day before that, I was outside of Pittsburgh in Greensburg, uh, Pennsylvania. So we did two in Greensburg, two yesterday in Columbus, and caught a plane early this morning and arrived here. Well, that's wonderful. Speaking of here, you've performed here as well. Oh, many, many times, yes. I mentioned before when the lady called about the, the place over in, El in uh, Windsor. Mm -hmm. I was there many times and at a club here, and we, a gentleman just called in, I believe, about the, the University of University Detroit. of Detroit, yes, in as a matter 53. of fact. So it started a long time ago, my yes. association. Not only singing here, but with... Uh, in the Michigan area with uh, Oldsmobile, which I'm very proud of. Well, what we'd like to be able to do is bring you back to Detroit, because after this special, I think there are whole new generations who'd like to see you. So if the pledges come in enough, Patty, and enough of you out there call and phone in your support, do you think we might twist your arm? I think you <laughs> might. <laughs> well, friends, it's all in your hands. If you would like to see Patty Page in person, not only here in the studio, but also at a concert hall in the metropolitan Detroit area, now is the time to phone in your pledges. And you were at a concert hall not too long ago, Macomb yes, Center. Macomb for... Center. I was there in September, I think. Or the end, yes, in September. I made a, a, a tour through Canada. Oh, yes. Starting in the Toronto area. Uh -huh. And uh, then we wound up here at the Macomb Center. Speaking of Toronto, did you know, Patty, that right now watching you and listening to you, there are probably, oh, a million households throughout Canada who receive the WTVS signal. Well, that's great because we have some friends there in Mississauga and, uh, you know, that's in the Toronto area. Uh -huh. And um, Markham. Oh, great. Yes, and Guelph. And so call in. Come on, call in and let us know that you're enjoying the show. Thank you. We would love for you to have a copy of the show. We're just enjoying this so much. Until let us know. And we have another question coming from the phone okay. bank from Nancy Peterson. Of all the singers that you have sang with, is there one out there that you wished you could have sung with, but never did? Well, I, I sang with quite a few. Um, I think I wouldn't be too presumptuous to think that I could sing with Ella Fitzgerald, but she was my favorite. Oh, and what we a did a few shows together, but I didn't ever get to sing with her. But throughout your career, you have sung with a lot of very talented people, huh? Yes, you? never recorded with them, not many, you know, but mm -hmm. uh, we did shows together and it was nice. I guess Perry Como would be one of my favorites. Oh, we've done a special on public television <coughs> with Perry Como. Yes, you're right. I watched it, yes. And we were talking a little earlier about how all these new generations are discovering your, your sound from the 50s. You were traveling outside of the United States, as a matter of fact. Where were you at? I was in Hong Kong about three weeks ago uh -huh. to do just one show. And I've been going to the Orient since 1957 or thereabouts. And uh, it's all young people that come to the show. And uh, my records have been uh, off and on on the hit parade through these years. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it really is. I could imagine at some point in time, you probably had close to 10 out of the top 10 songs. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure about that, Diane, but I was fortunate. You were really fortunate, and your records were just, the old ones were continuing to sell, and then new ones would come out. Yeah. You were really recording a lot, weren't you? Please? Yes, I would say every uh, few weeks or so, we'd go into the studio. And there must have been at least eight releases during a year. Oh my goodness, and now yeah. a star has eight releases yeah. in their whole career. <laughs> it's phenomenal. It is. <laughs> of all those releases, is there a particular song that's near and dear to your heart, Patty? Well, I think, um, well, I know Old Cape Cod is uh, my favorite of the songs I have done. Uh -huh. Tennessee Waltz was my dad's favorite, and I think of him when I sing it. Oh, that's But nice. uh, I like Old Cape Cod, and I'd never been there when I recorded the song. Well, perhaps you too have a favorite of Patty's songs, and when you're calling in your pledges of support, won't you let us know what memory this, this evening is conjuring up for you, what your favorite song is, and maybe you'll be lucky enough to have a chance to talk with Patty, because we've opened up a phone here on the phone bank. Okay. 
and Patty says she's going to spend a little time just chatting with you randomly so you'll never know who you'll talk to when you call. Yeah, please call in. Well, Patty, you just put down the phone. You were just chatting yes, I with did. somebody. I was chatting with Pearl. Ah, uh -huh. and I'm sure that she said that she appreciates your music. She was in the kitchen and singing along with every song that was on. Well, let's actually, John's talking to somebody right now. Did you want to talk to the person that John is talking with? There we go. And what we would like to do is when you call in your pledge of support, perhaps Patty will pick up the phone and she'll be chatting with you. And right now, Patty's going to be taking a call from one of the volunteers. John was just taking a generous pledge. And are we all set? All right. No, I don't okay. think she wants to talk to me. Oh, there you go, <laughs> Patty. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Hi. And who is this? Martha, this is Patty. <laughs> okay. How are you, Martha? <laughs> Feels really good, doesn't it, Martha? Well, Patty's going to be chatting with Martha. Thank you. And thank you so much. And thank you for calling in. All right, thank you very much. And you too can get a chance okay. to make a very generous pledge of support because Patty is delighted to be here and the outpouring of support that we are receiving from Detroit audiences is nothing short of fantastic because Patty has been in different markets and she said the most money was raised when she was in New Hampshire. But just during that first break alone, we raised over $6,000. And Patty, how do you think about that? We raised over $6,000 in that first break alone. Great, that's great. But we need much, much more to keep public television going. And you can make it happen, call now. <laughs> well, John was just telling us that the caller who was talking to Patty said, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say. But it was so much fun when she was finished. You but might when have she was on, she knew what to say. That was very sweet. Thank you. You get those heart pourings, don't you, from uh -huh. all of your fans. Every it's marvelous. You know. It's marvelous to know that you've been a part of someone's life. And a lot of people have been part of your life, especially yes, some grandchildren, right, Oh, my Patty? goodness, yes. <laughs> my husband and I have 11 between uh -huh. us, 10 girls and one boy. Oh, my goodness. Yes. yes. Now, whose side of the family produces all well, these girls, <laughs> Patty? <laughs> well, my side just produced the one boy, but okay, then otherwise answers the it was question. girls, right. <laughs> Do any of them have the singing voice or the inclination yeah. to perform? I think there are a couple that want to be a star. Oh, a star. Yes. No matter what they do. No matter what they do. <laughs> but uh, my children were uh, both adopted, so the genes didn't pass down. Uh -huh. And um, I, I know Jerry's children sang in church, and they can carry a tune. <laughs> I'm not sure how far it'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, speaking of carrying tunes, you have truly carried a tune and continue to do so all over the world. And we were talking about yeah. your concerts back in the Orient. Well, yes, I, I had mentioned before that I was in Hong Kong about three weeks ago and that uh, it was marvelous just for one night. But I started going to the Orient in 57 and I've been going ever since. And that really is a, a, a showing of how universal your music is, Patty. I'm glad of that. Yes. And not only does it cross the borders, but it also crosses all age groups. And if you enjoyed in the past or are enjoying now, call and pledge generously. Just like Bob Smith from Troy. Hello to you, Bob. We appreciate this. And public television would love to have more specials like this possible, but only if you respond to that challenge tonight. Remember, every single pledge at $100 and above is being matched dollar for dollar, being doubled tonight by the trustees. So call in and be generous, right, Patty? That's right, and I would like to thank that board of trustees for doing that. That's a very special thing that you're doing. Thank you. And we would like to thank all of you who are calling. And there's some questions. Dick from North okay. Bay, Ontario. Well, actually, it's a comment. He claims that he has every record that you ever made. <laughs> and he even named his daughter Isn't after that something? you. Isn't that something? How many thank records? You. How many records would you say, Dick? Well, has? I really don't know, but it must be in the thousands. Oh, my goodness. Patty, well, the songs that you've given to us are just marvelous. Thank you. Uh, a lot of the songs, a lot of the viewers have not heard because a lot of them were in albums. Oh, I yeah. see. So, you know, they weren't hit singles, so uh -huh. they wouldn't have had any occasion to hear them unless they were fans and somebody played them for them. Well, here's a question about a specific song. Okay. Kathy Wolf said she thinks that the writer of a song named Wondering was a guy by the name of Jack Schaefer. Can you remember the song Wondering? Is that your uncle, Kathy? Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's... Alone at night, da-da-da-da, I'm feeling blue. 
My thoughts keep going through my mind. It's all of you. I wonder if you want da 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 I wonder, I wonder. I don't know if that's the song. I well, mean, it, you were wondering for us. Well. Just beautifully, <laughs> Betty, just beautifully. Thank you. And we're wondering if you're going to get to the phone and make more wondering music like this possible on public television. The only applause we get are your donations. And when you applaud for Patty and for all the stars on public television, the front row seat is assured in your home. That's the best seat in the house. That's right. Patty and I were just chatting about, I said, Patty, is there anything else that you'd like to tell our audience about? And Patty took the stage, go for it. Tell and me. I said, well, I have a new album out. It came out in September called Live at Carnegie Hall from uh, my first appearance at Carnegie Hall last year. It was quite an evening and it was all put on tape and that's what's in the album. Well, that's and fantastic. <clears throat> it really is. There's a question from Paula in Warren. Have you ever added any new songs to re your repertoire? And maybe, are they on the album? Yes, some of them are. Uh, I add songs every now and then to the show because uh, I still do all the uh, hits. But um, I like to sing different things, too, and I wouldn't think of doing a show without singing things like Tennessee Waltz, et cetera, et cetera. It's awesome. It's awesome. But it's fun to add a new song here and there, and although I can't add some of the, the rap things, <laughs> <laughs> but we do add new songs every now and then. Well, here's a comment from a wonderful person who also called in a very generous pledge. And by the way, that's what we're encouraging tonight is your pledges of support. Because Patty and I were just talking about the producer of that show, MPI, uh -huh. and working with PBS. Patty, tell yes. me a little bit more about your experience in creating this special for PBS. Well, Bob Marty came to see me at, the, at Carnegie Hall and decided then that he should do this special. And so it's taken him a little over a year to put it together and he's worked very hard and I was so pleased and grateful that they were there that night and saw me and wanted to do this show and I will always be indebted to Bob. It was a super experience. And we will always be indebted at PBS to you, Patty, for 50 years having shared your voice and your talents. Thank with you. With all of us for many, many generations. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Go, go. Patty was just saying that Jack from Absolute Limo is a very nice man, and we appreciate both Absolute Limo and the River Place because they generously donate those services for the comfort of our guests. And so that's another way in which the community helps public television. And Patty, you sure are is. helping public television tonight. Well, I'm doing glad. a marvelous job. Good, I'm glad. We had a question come, and it was yes. from Mark Nathanson, and yeah. he said, <laughs> Has anybody ever asked you, how much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> well, no one has called in tonight and asked, but there was a, I have had that question asked uh -huh. for, uh, many, many times through the years. And it's interesting that a friend of mine, John Whitcomb, the famous illustrator, who was with the famous artist school with Norman Rockwell, et cetera, et cetera, up in New England, uh -huh. painted a picture for me of a little poodle and on it, it had a price tag of $100. <laughs> and that's all it takes to get it pledged from us to have it matched. And they're actually, as we're talking, Patty, thank you very much oh. to our director, Kato, <laughs> who's putting up a clip of you singing How Much Is That Dog in the Window. And the answer today at Detroit Public Television is the $100 because that's the challenge matching that's amount. Right. Any gift of $100 buys you your own doggy in the window because <laughs> it enables us to get another $100 from our trustees. So your $100 is magical tonight, just like That's your doggy in the fabulous. window. That's fabulous, right. Well, we'll just use that, Diane. Okay. So call in, please. Please do that. And Patty and I both suggest the amount of $100. And Patty, would you be willing to come on over to the phone bank sure. with me a little bit later? Would and love to. Chat with some more of those folks who are I calling. I would be happy to. Have you heard a lot of folks who are giving you memories and sharing some good feelings with Yes, you. I really have, and it's been very rewarding. And it's wonderful to have you continue to share your talents and continuing to do concerts. When is your next tour going to start? Actually, I sang my last song for 1998 last night. Aha! Uh -huh. And uh, we start again in uh, January in Laughlin, Nevada. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And again, friends, if there are enough pledges that come in right now, get those phones busy. We'll get Patty to come to Detroit live. Do it now. 
Patty, so many people are going for the combo. They want all of you. <laughs> the we have video, some... the CD, and the audio cassette. That is nice. We have some nice pledges here from one from Rose Hodge from Detroit. And Esther Kelly called in, also from Detroit. Thanks. And Quan Chan from Sterling Heights, Michigan. And we've heard from Austin Kitchen, who lives in Clinton Township. Thanks a lot, Austin. Thank you. And this is Marietta Bretz. I hope I pronounced oh, that yes. right. In Novi, Michigan? No, yes, Novi, Michigan. Novi. We have all different parts of the metropolitan community. Yes, we sure do. In the next one. John Marks from Westland. And from our good friends in Canada, thank you very much. From Saskatchewan, Robert Smith, your gift is so wonderful. You're going to get three videos to share with your neighbors and How friends. How nice. It's a nice way to go. Yes, it sure is. And Larry Grubb from Macomb. Township, yes. Township, where and I was, yeah. That's right, because the Macomb Center for the Performing Arts right. in September, Patty appeared and she had a great time in Detroit. And I'm hoping that we can maybe get her back here, but you got to keep those phones riz ringing. Here's and a nice one, George Pardonay, I guess. Yes, it from is. From Novi, oh, $250. Well, that thank becomes you. That becomes 500 with the match from our directors. She's really good, she really cares, and I hope you care as much. Patty, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it.